Some people traditionally start Thanksgiving Day by attending church service. This morning in Portland, Bishop Robert Dealey held mass for 50 at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception following CDC guidelines. News Center Maine's Jackie Mundry has a look at how the Catholic Church has been able to avoid COVID-19 outbreaks. No, there have been no outbreaks in Catholic churches. No outbreaks here, but there have been quite a few cases of COVID-19 in other churches, including the Sanford Baptist Church, the Brooks Church, and the Kingdom Life Church in Oakland. The Brooks Church offering an apology to its members after the outbreak. We uh, ask your forgiveness. We apologize uh, that the sickness came to our church. Some religious groups have been vocal about wanting more people to be able to gather together, even during this time. Our faith is essential. 50 cap has made it really impossible for them to have church. But one of the things a priest does is he, he uh, I think, gauges how he's talking to by the, uh, by the congregation and how they're responding. On Wednesday night, the United States Supreme Court voted five to four in favor of religious groups that were disputing COVID-19 restrictions put in place by New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, limiting the number of people allowed to attend services. Bishop Robert Dealey says this ruling reminds elected officials that the First Amendment doesn't just include freedom of speech. It includes the, the freedom of worship and, and religious liberty. After Thanksgiving comes the winter holidays, and many people go to church on Christmas. When Bishop Dealey is asked if he expects more people in the pews come December 25th. It's all going to depend upon what happens today and how people uh, uh, handle this holiday. Two weeks from now, we'll, 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 we'll know more. Maine CDC Director Dr. Narav Shah is encouraging Mainers to practice social distancing and wear masks, even on Thanksgiving. Jackie Mundry, News Center, Maine.